Yankee Alpha 6, Yankee Oscar uniform, uh, Ron, Romeo Oscar November in Fairfax City, Virginia. Roger, Roger, Ron, and what radio are you running today, sir? Roger, Roger, Ron, and what radio are you running today, sir? Uh, Jim, I'm running a 1979 Fox Tango 7, an FT7. We're running about 13 watts on peaks, 13 watts on peaks. I bought this radio in Tokyo in 1978, and I just brought it up on the air today. Uh, there's really no settings that I can do. I just wonder how it sounds. Over. Sounds pretty good. I'm copying you on the uh, uh, Pennsylvania SDR, and uh, it looks to be that uh, you're about 8 dB over the PA SDR noise level, which is a, a pretty good signal. I'm not really sure what your uh, location is geographically to that uh, SDR, but I'm getting you uh, ATB above their noise level, so it's a good signal, Roger. I'm getting you uh, ATB above their noise level, so it's a good signal, Roger. Okay, Roger, I always get a uh, pretty good comment that this thing has some real good audio on it, and uh, yeah, that's about 13 watts on peak, Jim, 13 watts. It's always been a nice radio. I had it in Beirut, Lebanon, in 1978 and uh, worked about 130 countries with it and I just wanted to make sure it's still functioning properly. I'm talking about two inches from the microphone, about two inches from the handheld microphone. So I appreciate it. Thanks and uh, you at least let me know that it's uh, still working and still uh, functioning. Uh, you know, good old Yesu. It's a beautiful radio. It's in mint shape, 0.999% uh, collector quality. So uh, glad to hear that it's still running. Over. Roger, Roger, Ron. You might uh, double check your AOC level. Uh, watch your AOC meter uh, as you uh, adjust your mic and say the word audio, and you're looking for a mid scale to two thirds. Uh, uh, two-thirds to uh, uh, seven, depending on how you're uh, uh, labeling on your uh, ALC meter. You want to be just to the right of center, uh, just to the right of center on your ALC meter, as you say the word audio, and adjust your mic gain. Roger? Meter, as you say the word audio, and adjust your mic gain. Roger? Uh, roger, roger. Okay, and again, uh, Jim, there is no ALC adjustment on this. I don't think there was any ALC uh it's perhaps inside the radio, but uh, nothing on the outside. This was made in uh, 1978. Uh, this is a Fox Tango 7. You might look that up sometime. You won't believe what it looks like. Fox Tango 7. And it was made for Mobile, actually QRP Mobile. But uh, it does pack a punch uh, just with the 10 watts. So I won't uh, hold you any longer. I sure do appreciate it. W-A-6-Y-O-U. Roger, Ron. I'm just uh, curious that uh, on your, do you have a meter? Uh, do you have any kind of meter on that radio? On your, do you have a meter? Uh, do you have any kind of meter on that radio? Yeah, no. the only meter I have is a power out meter, power out meter, and uh, which doubles as an F meter, and that's all. And on the tune, you pretty much uh, tune for maximum over. Yes, sir. It looks good. It looks good. It's just uh, unusual that you would not have some reference to setting your mic level. You know, the ALC meter is the uh, way to, uh, you know, set your mic level unless you have like a light or, or some means of uh, uh, saying what the, you know, what the level adjustment should be. Roger, Roger. Uh, saying what the, you know, what the level adjustment should be. Roger, Roger. Oh, Roger that. I Normally I use my uh, ICOM 756 Pro 3, and you betcha I look at the ALC all the time. But uh, this old radio, one of the first of the uh, solid state radios that uh, Yesu came out with, uh, nothing like that at all. Nothing like that. You just plug it in, and uh, you need an antenna tuner. You give it, uh, put it in CW and tune for maximum on the... Uh, on the meter here, and uh, that's where you are. So uh, I'm glad to hear it's working. I'm glad to hear that it's still uh, putting out spec. It, uh, and looking at my uh, output meter, it's really bouncing around, really uh, looking good. So uh, back to you. Roger, Roger. Well, you can tell um, by um, 
If you don't have an uh, ALC meter, you can tell by the uh, power meter, uh, as it comes up to zero, how much it just kind of hangs around the zero area versus uh, uh, flopping around kind of up and down, just, you know, from, from all the way to the bottom to the top. It just kind of wants to hang as you talk like this, uh, just wants to hang up around the uh, zero area. Roger, Roger. It just wants to hang up around the uh, zero area. Roger, Roger. Oh, Roger. Yeah, it, no, it, it, it bounces. It's just bouncing all over the place. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I mean, uh, zero to 13 watts, just bouncing back and forth. Roger, I just saw some good uh, fluctuations there. So uh, what is your uh, mic level right at the moment? Fluctuations there. So uh, what is your uh, mic level right at the moment? Mic level is at about 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and that's the best I can do on that, Jim. Yeah, try noon. Try noon, uh, because you did have a big excursion there for no reason. I mean, you had a couple of them right in a row, and uh, that usually uh, uh, says that your mic level is a, a little low. So try noon, and let's see what happens. That your mic level is a, a little low. So try noon, and let's see what happens. All right, now we're at noon. Now we're at noon. I'm really bouncing now. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, and I'm two inches from the mic. Over. Looking good. No distortion. Try a one o'clock. Looking good. No distortion. Try a one o'clock. Okay. Now we're at one o'clock. At one o'clock. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, you've been running low mod. You've been running low modulation. That sounds a whole lot better. Uh, you picked up about 3 dB uh, gain and uh, no distortion uh, and no uh, even any uh, appearance of distortion. Roger, no uh, uh, distortion on the peaks, Roger. No distortion, Roger. No uh, uh, distortion on the peaks, Roger. Wow, unbelievable. Okay, very good because the manual, the manual says uh, between 9 and 10. But uh, yeah, I'm looking at my output meter now. It's uh, really, uh, it's really honking now, Jim. Over. Yes, sir. No distortion. That's where it should be. You know, not all mics are created equal. And if you just have a general reference in your book to running at 9 to noon, that's that can't be because there are all different kinds of mics. And you have to do what you need to do to uh, get uh, correct modulation, Roger. You have to do what you need to do to uh, get the uh, correct modulation, Roger. Yep, roger that. Okay, well, I wish I'd have known this in 1978. <laughs> everybody, uh, you know, over the past, though, everybody has always commented on how good this sounds, and nobody can ever believe that I'm running just uh, supposedly 10 watts, but actually 13 on peak, so uh, that's the way it is. Hey, thanks a million for your time today. I greatly appreciate it. And this little FT7 will stay on... Uh, one o'clock, that's for sure. I uh, I need your call, Jim. WA six Y O U. Roger, Roger, sir. Call is Kilo Charlie nine Victor Kilo Victor KC nine VKV. And uh, if you want to hear that radio and and, and uh, follow the progression of uh, us working on that radio, because uh, I've been recording from the beginning of our conversation till now. If you uh, go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word logbook will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of uh, 2700 QCV log air check recordings and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Now I did have to turn you down because you did increase by 3 dB over your original signal. At least 3 dB. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Roger the 3 dB. Well, thank you so much. I uh, greatly appreciate it. And uh, it's been really interesting. I just happened to tune across your signal, and uh, you were helping people out, and it's uh, greatly appreciated today, Jim. KC9VKV, WA6YOU in the city of Fairfax, Virginia, near Washington, D.C. And uh, I'll be clear, Jim. Thank you. Roger, Roger, Ron, 73, sir. Have a great afternoon. Beautiful weekend. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.